Now, portion control can sound daunting at first, but the benefit is that you start to condition your body to require less food to feel full. Now, when I was losing weight, it took me a minute to figure out the right portion sizes that helped to move the needle. But once I did, it became easier and easier. And I've never felt deprived. Welcome to the Mind Your Body Show, where you'll learn how to get your mind right so that your body will follow. I'm Trudy Stone, certified culinary nutritionist, author, and mind body coach. And several years ago, I self hacked my mind and my body to lose 30 pounds. Each week, not only will you learn nutrition and weight loss habits, you'll also learn how to address the destructive habits and negative self talk that lead to overeating and battles with your weight. The secret to losing weight and keeping it off is not only about what you put in your stomach, it's also about what's going on in your brain. So congratulations on showing up. I promise to support you on your journey with every single episode. Let's begin. Welcome to the Mind Your Body Show. This is culinary nutritionist and mind body coach Trudy Stone, and I'm so grateful for you tuning in today. So at the time of this recording, we're still in quarantine, but restrictions are also starting to get lifted. Here in Canada, where I live, the social bubble has been expanded to 10 people, and now we're actually at stage two of reopening. So I'm starting to see a glimmer of hope that I can finally hang out with my friends and family soon. But let's face it, many people will proactively expand this bubble, even though we know we shouldn't. During the summer, food temptations are everywhere. It especially feels this way if you're the only one who's eating healthy. And what about when you hit up that family barbecue? I don't know about you, but barbecues are my weakness. From burgers to beers to rosés, the temptations are endless. It can be tough enough to navigate the spread without having your great Aunt Becky force an extra helping of potato salad on your plate. So how do you deal with these food pushers and temptations? Well, in this episode, I'll be sharing five summer and barbecue season survival tips that will help you to stay in control of your health, what goes on your plate, and ultimately what goes in your mouth. Now, ever go to a barbecue and feel like you're the only one there who cares about eating healthy? Well, everybody else is munching away on chips, chowing down on burgers, and throwing back beers. You're stuck searching for probably that non-existent veggie kebab and avoiding guests who are trying to feed you mayonnaise-drenched salads. Well, first of all, you're not alone. And second, realize that it is possible. I repeat, it is possible to survive a barbecue without sabotaging your health goals. And keep in mind, if you aren't 100% successful, it's okay. Chances are there'll be another barbecue around the corner to try again. All right, so let's start with those food pushers. And there are three common scenarios that typically happen at summer get togethers. The first one goes a little bit something like this, but I made these treats especially for you. Now, I don't know about you, but this one always makes me feel guilty. So here's what you say. No, thanks. It can be as simple as that. The key is how you say it. Say it with force and conviction. When letting them down gently, remember that only you have the power to decide what goes in your mouth. You can refuse any food or drink that is offered to you. You can say, I'm really trying to eat healthy, or I have to feel right for my workout tomorrow morning, or you know what? I'm totally satisfied. But the simplest, sweetest, and most to the point answer is a good old fashioned, no, thank you. Now, if you like, and you don't have to do this, this is more of a bonus tip. You can also maybe sprinkle in some compliments too, because here's the thing. Food is a connector. It can be an expression of love for a lot of people. When someone uses food to strengthen the bond, it's important to try other ways to let them know that you care. So telling them that you appreciate them and giving them compliments, whether it's, you know, about how great the party is, if they're the host, how good it is to see them or spend time with them, their outfit, maybe appreciation for how they helped you with something recently or in the past can reaffirm these connections without you taking in excess calories. All right, so let's move on to food pusher number two. Why bother with rabbit food? Life is for having fun. Stop being such a health nut. Okay, here's what you do. Challenge them to try your way. Say, you know what? I can teach you some really amazing recipes that are so good. I bet you wouldn't even know that they're healthy. And emphasize the fact that eating healthy makes you feel good. All right, so the third and final food pusher goes a little bit something like this. Eat some cake. You're making me feel guilty for eating it. 
This comment is a good example of the way people project their own feelings onto you. When someone makes a hurtful or controlling comment, it's often more of a reflection of how they feel. Since this comment is usually more about them than it is about you, try to offer some reassurance and then use it as a teaching moment about how you cope with food guilt. There's two ways that you can respond to this. The first is saying something like, you don't have to feel guilty. I find that eating food mindfully, savoring each bite is the best way to make my inner critic be quiet. The second is, yes, it is so hard to be around good food. I know it was really hard for me at first, but thankfully it got easier over time. I couldn't imagine that I couldn't get a handle on my eating, but I did. Belly fat is a common struggle for people looking to lose weight, and it can also be harmful to your health. This type of fat is called visceral fat and is a major risk factor for heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and other serious conditions. It can be tough to lose, but not impossible. Learn how you can burn belly fat and make it easier with my free guide, 7 Ways to Melt Your Muffin Top Fast, Backed by Science. You can find it over at trudyestone.com. I'll also drop a link in the show notes so you can grab it. All right, so now that we've dealt with the food pushers, let's talk about how you can eat healthier overall this summer, whether you're at a barbecue or not. Now, if you're trying to maintain or lose weight, the summer can be a challenging time to stick with your goals. So the five tips I'm going to share with you will help to keep you on track without you feeling deprived. And in fact, that's tip number one. Don't give up your favorite foods. Instead, I want you to find healthier substitutes of some of your favorite unhealthier foods. If you love a mocha, triple, extra whip, mint, chip, frappe, jump on Pinterest and look for a healthier recipe. I actually have a really healthy matcha, co- well, I would say really healthy, more like healthy-ish, matcha coconut caramel milkshake recipe. I need a drink of water after saying that name because that was really long on my website. So I'll drop a link to the recipe in the show notes for you so you can check that out. If you love a nice Mai Tai or mojito, then find ways to make your cocktails healthier. On my website, I actually have an article with tips on how to make your cocktails healthier, and I've also included a few recipes. I think the mango rum runner is probably my favorite. Now, I also want to add, just by saying that, because I know some people will say alcohol is not healthy, so I also want to add that this is not a license to drink more alcohol just because maybe you've used kombucha in your mojito, because alcohol is inflammatory no matter what you mix it in or what you drink, and it will impact your weight loss if you're trying to lose weight, as well as impacting your health. Now, drinking alcohol can cause digestive problems and dangerously impact your blood sugar and damage your nervous system. It can also increase your risk of colon, mouth, and breast cancer. So think of these things as you indulge responsibly this summer. So the moral of this tip here is don't completely deprive yourself, even if, especially if, you're currently on a diet. When I was trying to lose weight, I had a sweet tooth. So I would allow myself a couple of squares of dark chocolate, which is also excellent for weight loss, by the way. Um, as well as maybe some almonds as well, just to make sure that I was managing my blood sugar. Tip number two to eat healthier this summer is to watch those portion sizes. Now, portion control can sound daunting at first, but the benefit is that you start to condition your body to require less food to feel full. Now, when I was losing weight, it took me a minute to figure out the right portion sizes that helped to move the needle. But once I did, it became easier and easier. And I've never felt deprived. You know, you also feel better and have more energy when you don't overeat gigantic portions, which can leave you feeling lethargic. So here's a couple of things to keep in mind when it comes to portion sizes. First of all, I want you to fill half of that plate with grilled veggies and a salad. Okay. now your side salad, which could be like, you know, your macaroni salad or your potato salad should be about the size of a baseball. So stick to only one of those salads, not all three. Okay. Your meat, okay, so this could be chicken, steak, fish, should be about the size of your smartphone. And I'm talking an iPhone here, not an iPad, but nice try. So try to ensure that the meat is as lean as possible. And the size of your thumb is the dressing amount. Tip number three is to bulk up. So eat foods with fiber and protein that are going to make you feel full for a longer period of time. Here's a trick. Eat an apple about 30 minutes before your meal and you'll eat less. This is because apples contain a fiber called pectin that's going to make you feel full for a longer period of time. At a barbecue, go for a grilled chicken breast, which is a good source of protein. Actually, before I go to a summer party, and a lot of people are going to know what my trick is now, but before I go to a summer party or barbecue, I usually make a smoothie. 
And then that way, when I get to the barbecue, I'm not feeling famished and I'm not just eating everything in sight and I feel more in control of my food choices. Tip number four is to stay hydrated. During the summer, it's super easy to get dehydrated. Hey, it's even happened to me a couple times before where I felt dizzy and faint because I didn't have enough water. Now, the average adult loses up to two liters of water a day through sweating, breathing, and eliminating waste. If you're not topping up your body with water throughout the day, then this can also have a dramatic effect on your brain function and overall health. Studies show that common brain fog symptoms like fuzzy short-term memory and problems with focusing can be experienced if your brain drops even just 2% in body water. Now, if you don't like drinking plain water, I get it, then you can add a squeeze of lemon or lime juice, um, add a few sprigs of you know, fresh mint or cucumber or thyme or an orange slice. A few frozen berries actually is really nice too, especially in the warmer weather. I also have some tasty recipes for infused water on my website. So don't worry, I got you covered and I'll drop that link in the show notes for you as well. Now, one of the recipes is actually a fat burning detox water recipe where I shared ingredients on how to minimize bloating. So check that blog post out before you're hitting the beach. I also want to encourage you to minimize coolers and sugary drinks. I know that we love our coolers in the summertime. We love those sugar laden drinks, but some of those coolers can have from 300 calories or more and have loads of sugar, which contribute to weight gain. Besides, wouldn't you rather eat your calories rather than drinking them? So the same is true also for those store-bought or mass-produced margaritas, which can be full of food coloring, sugar, additives, artificial sweeteners, and even high fructose corn syrup. All of those things that contribute to muffin tops. Instead, if you want to enjoy alcohol, go for club soda and vodka or club soda and tequila instead, okay? And then just add maybe a squeeze of lime to that as well. So I like to stay hydrated with club soda and a squeeze of lime. That's just my personal choice. I do have wine occasionally as well, and I might do some kombucha cocktails, but really I just like to have my club soda, my squeeze of lime, and I'm good. So tip number five to eat healthier overall this summer is to bring a crafty contribution. So if you're going to a potluck or barbecue, bring something healthy. Not only will this help out the host, but at least that way you'll have one food at the party that you can turn to. And odds are there's probably somebody else at that party as well who may also be trying to stay on on track with their healthy eating or weight loss goals. And by you bringing that crafty or healthy contribution, you're helping someone out as well. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Mind Your Body Show. I hope that you learned something new to help you transform your life and your body. For more after the show, make sure to head over to TrudyEStone.com. That's where you'll find all of the show notes. Also, make sure to head over to iTunes to subscribe and leave us a rating to let us know what you thought about the episode. And remember, get your mind right and your body will follow. Thanks for tuning in.